Please enjoy the final interview, bringing our series, A Collection of Masks, to an end. Our guest is again a brilliant playwright, actor, and theatre director, the creator of such shows as Ascension and Labyrinth, Mr. Robert Chardish. Henry, it's Ella. Ella? Oh, Ella! Hello! Honey, Ella is calling. What do you mean, which Ella? Our Ella. Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> how are you doing? How, how, how's the weather out there in the States? Oh, you know how it is. Win some, lose some, never a dull day. But I'm not calling from the States, I'm here in England. Oh! <laughs> One could never keep up with you. I'm staying in that yellow hotel. What was his name? Wait, the one here? In Linfield? Yes. I'm back. Actually, I have a small favour to ask. Do you still have a car? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The same old one. Had it for 20 years now. It's the only thing that still works. Could you give me a ride somewhere? To the cemetery? I can show you which grave it is. No. I wanted... Um, I have to check out the theatre. Ah, right. Of course. I can be there in an hour. Would that be all right? Sure, Henry. You are wonderful. It sure brings back memories, doesn't it? So much has happened here. Sometimes too much. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Thank you, but I'd like to be alone for a moment. So, we meet again, Mr. Chardish. It's hard to believe that this is the end. <clears throat> Isn't it? Time flies this fast only in the studio, on the stage, and with Sinatra. It does indeed. Let me explain to the listeners who have missed the previous auditions that we've been meeting to talk about the major plays Mr. Childish directed over the last 30 years. From the last one to the very first one, as well as about art in general and the bohemian lifestyle. As long as I... Uh... Uh, managed to stay on track. <laughs> Today our time travel takes us back to a theatre in the village named Lindfield. The first stage you had to command by yourself. Before we start talking about art, let me ask, how are you feeling? Well, I guess I should have seen that one coming, <laughs> given the circumstances. I, I feel undefeated and the uh, prognosis is rather optimistic as well. Oh, surely a lot of people sighed with relief of me just now. I appreciate that. <coughs> Sadly, people who expect to see me on stage will be disappointed. The doctors deny me any excitement, and for once in my life, I am inclined to listen to people who know better than me. It must be difficult. Everyone has to exit stage eventually.
how empty it became. Nothing to do but listen to the rats and remember how it used to be. Landed not at all. The films were a complete novelty to me, but I'm glad that I dared. Despite the sacrifices and changes this decision brought about. Together. Together. Who stood with us? Who stood with us? Who stood with us? Who stood against Who stood us? Stood against us? Who stood against us? We've seen We've things. We've seen things. We've seen things. We played. We've played. We've played. We've played. We've played. We've decided. 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 We've decided.
For this price. For this price. Light. For this. For this price. price. For if I had a friend all on this earth, the light burns. You'd be a friend to me. Burns. The light burns. When you become famous, you feel like you've caught a genie in a lamp. And then, unfortunately, you remember the details of this fairy tale. I had plenty of plans. I wanted to have everything under control. But that's not how life is. The harder you try, the, the less control you have.
got it into his head that he would sleep in the theatre like the old days, but I set him straight. But he still drove there every day, insisting he had to finish something. This was your desire. This was your desire. Last performance showed in Linfield was definitely aimed at a mature audience, and from this perspective, it seems quite sad. I'd rather call it introspective. It was a time where I used to spend quite some time on pondering what art is, how it reflects life, the, the decisions taken.
Rather trite. When you're alone on stage, even light feels heavy. I could still be fixed. All workstations have been disabled. How do you know? Who are you? A broken, grounded robot. Oh, look! A ventilation shaft.
This must be some kind of mistake. I'll get some help. Listen, I'm sorry to say it, but I don't think there's anyone left to help. I don't understand. I've heard the next transport is the last one. But we're still here. Did they forget about us? No. They've abandoned us. <sighs> Impossible. They couldn't have just thrown me out. I've worked here for so long. I I've worked in this exact room. Do you recognize this place? A little. I used to work around the whole factory. Doing what? Minor repairs, maintenance, you know, emergency tightening of the screws. And you? I mainly carried boxes, daydreamed and lost screws. What was the hardest part? I think the changes. Um, one of the plays was rewritten multiple times, even after the premiere. It made me get my lines wrong. So neglected. Wait, can you operate them? Yes. So maybe we can make it. Catch this train. Oh, yes. What does this do? Remote control for the transport platform. Oh. Hey, it's working. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? They don't want us there. We're not certified. So what? The outside world doesn't need a certificate. But then everyone would be able to enter. Exactly. the world like then? Full of light, freedom and novels. Oh, I've heard of them. They're tricky to program. easier in the language of ukulele. Have you noticed? Some equipment still works. Consoles, platforms. They'll eventually stop. The connectors will rust, and to gravity will fail. <sighs> Poor them. That's how it is. Nobody cares about this world. Train arriving at the station. It moves. You have everything under control. You're doing great. You are a natural parcel, a free narwhal. Talk ukulele to me. Be strong. Be like steel.
look ahead and I'll check what's there. Hey, are you here? Thanks. At your service. I'll fix and save you. But don't just jump into danger like that anymore. You have my word. Why do you care so much about getting out? You almost became a bunch of spare parts. Better to have tried and failed than to choose to stay stuck. But... You don't want to get out? I might want to, one day. But do you want to get out, or just get to another inside? So, when you get out, you also have to do it right. Well, the difference is fundamental. Which is? Basic. I know what that word means, but what's the difference? The ceiling? Train again. We must hurry. I remember when the factory was full of life. If it can be called life. Do you not have any good memories of this place? You must have done labyrinth. Oh. Tedious and repetitive. Come on, I used to love them. Maybe you could overwrite my malfunction? What a strange feeling. You've never been on this side of the controller? No, not really. Terrible, isn't it? But this is wonderful. By the way, you're an expert on the outside world? Mm, you could say that. You've never been there? Not even for a moment? If I were, I would definitely not come back here. Even for a maintenance check? Especially the maintenance check. Hey! You know... I've been meaning to ask you. Yes? I've noticed that your springs are built in. So the malfunction must be caused by either the pins or the processor. Sort of. Such things are easily fixed. So if we find a station... No, I don't want to have it fixed. I never wanted to. This is the only trait I have that's mine alone. <laughs> Will you think less of me when I fix myself? Being broken is just making things harder for us. Good. Hard-earned things are worth more. Ah, oh, I can move again. Consoles, the machines, everyone's still trying their best to do their job. Why does it matter? They're too primitive to understand anything other than routine tasks. How can you say that? Some of them are friends. Wait a second. Is that the same train? How come it hasn't reached the station yet? The rails were designed by the trainees. I 
I love this room already. But how are you going to reach the top? I'll find a way. Get out. What are your plans? I'll escape from the train. I guess that much. But where will you go then? It's simple. I'll go where I've never been. And after that? I'm not worried about the after. That world is so big, you could walk for days and not see any walls. The water containers are bigger than the whole factory, and the overhead lights never burn. Won't you get lost there? It's literally impossible. How so? To be lost is not to have found the goal. And my goal is all of the possibilities. Or to not be able to find a way back. I have no intention to come back here. There's nothing and no one for me here. No one? You don't have to worry about the plans or the rules. All of that is staying here. Along with the routine, boredom, the rules. Are you listening to me? Yes, uh, yes. The outside world is the destiny for those like us. It's ultimate freedom. That's why I want to get there. Are you alright? I just thought that there must be others here. Waiting to be found and helped. This time, you'll have to do the jumping. Can I take over for a while? Wish me luck. I wish you so much luck. Tell me a little more about what the outside's like. I'd, I'd rather not distract you. I can multitask. Oh, look! Giant spinning blades. What was that? Some variety. Even worse. So, so what do you want to know about? Are there other robots like us? There's no one like us anywhere. You're avoiding the answer. Because I don't know. I've never wondered about that. Oh. I'm only 90% genius. Does the world have to go up and down all the time? Up and down. Up. Welcome to my life. Hey, are there many places where you can jump There's there? There's everything. Ramps and gullies. Centrifuges too. Roundabouts. Lifts. And giraffe. Wrenches. Benches. A whole river of grease. Ooh, probably not. It would be too gooey. I'm free. <laughs> As if I was hurting you. Ah! All good? I can't move. Is it the springs? Boxes. What about you? I'm fine. It's different now. We'll manage, trust me. plans after we leave this place? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do uh, grease changes. That does not sound too exciting. A bit, but it's a solid plan. Although, uh, I think it would be nice to have someone whom I could help grease the wheels in the head. Well, that would be nice. Really nice.
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, what are you thinking? That the world is too big for one robot? Yes, a, a little. So, maybe? One day. Great, let's go. We're robots. <laughs> we have a whole eternity. Another maze? That might be a slight exaggeration. Ha! <laughs> Mark my time. But who, who will take care of the factory? Forget about it. But... This is not a place for us. But this is where we came from. You know what's best about your roots? What? That eventually you outgrow them. That's sad. It was meant to be a joke? It came out sad. Honestly, just forget. It'll be easier. Easier or better? You know what I mean. Yeah, let's go. Disabled, but not disassembled. Listen, I've found... What? Oh, nothing. Give me a moment. It should be better now. Together, at last. Y yes You seem lost in thought. It's nothing. Are you sure? Yes, contrary to what it looks like, sometimes I happen to think. Ha! We seem to be in luck. It looks like it's going to arrive now. Listen, do you really care about going? Of course! I've been waiting for this my whole life. We have to hurry. Yes, I get it. We need to extend the ramp. We did it! Jump! I... Hey, what's with you? This is our home. Are you joking? I got myself fixed there. So now I can take care of everyone else. We had plans. You were supposed to be with me. I did not. I hoped you would stay a bit longer. But this was my dream. <laughs>